Hello, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Uh, real quick, if you appreciate this video, check out the description box below and see how you can help support this channel. Uh, if you're going to buy gun parts, you can do it through my affiliate links. It won't cost you a cent extra, but it helps make this channel pop possible. That's what I meant to say. Talk about Alpenflage real quick. Taz 83, Taz 57, Lieber Mooster, whatever you want to call it. This crap I'm wearing right here. I am going to do an entire series talking about why I like this camouflage pattern. I've already started it. Um, I don't want it to lead to me misleading anybody. There will be someone who says, Jake, I spent $3,000 on buying Alpenflage kit for my whole family, custom gear, custom packs. By the way, I'm spending huge money on having Alpenflage webbing made for my rifle slings. I like this pattern. However, uh, what I want to say is that it's not my favorite pattern for its practicality. It is my favorite pattern for a, a number of things. Uh, and I'm going to cut to the chase here uh, because everybody's going to ask, Jake, what is your favorite pattern for practicality, for function? I love ATAX. ATAX, AUX, ATAX, IX, AU, FG. Um, I just went to 0241 Tactical and I purchased an ATAX IX top like this one and it cost me over $150. Uh, why did I do that? Well, I love ATAX IX. I love supporting small American businesses. I have an incredible appreciation for what it takes for a small shop to make something like this. And um, the cut's gonna be a little bit more modern and I think it's gonna be good. Long story short, I need to wear long sleeve stuff all summer long in this Kentucky heat, which I hate. I'm not very heat tolerant. Uh, to keep the ticks off, I've already, I usually get 60, 80 tick bites attached a year, and I've already got three or four this year, and I need to stop. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Why do I like Alpenflage so much? That's what this whole series is going to be about, but I want to make it clear. It's a balance of cost, functionality, availability, and a little bit of my past enjoying it and the fact that people don't think it works. And I'm going to prove to you that it does work. It does work even when you don't see any red in your environment. It still works, I promise. Um, so I think it's cool. So it's my favorite, all right? Um, now, there are downsides. And the biggest downside is although you can usually find pants and tops super cheap. Okay, I just bought that ATAX IX top. Like I said, cost me over 150 bucks. This top cost me under 20 shipped from eBay. I believe it was um, $18. Anyways, to find... But, um, so cost of the uniform, that's great, right? Under 40 bucks for full set, that's ridiculous brand new ridiculous um but and availability is decent now you have to convert the sizing to know what you're getting to try and get the right size usually they'll have a top will be like a 85 75 80 or this or that other thing you gotta look at what that measures in centimeters what that means in u.s sizes hopefully the person that you buy for from puts a US-ish size on there. This is a large, long, large, short. Uh, some people don't. I bought one top that like basically fits me, but the sleeves are like this long because it's like a large extra short. Um, by the way, these I usually keep tucked up anyways, but okay, I'm getting off track. Availability is good for uniforms. Price is good. The downside is gear. Um, 
Cordura nylon is hard or impossible to find in ATEC. So you're not going to find a pack that matches a kit, uh, etc. The good thing about this is soon I will have webbing made by MOS Tactical and you can get OD green gear with Alpenflage webbing. Work phenomenally. But on the plus side, OD green goes great with this. Coyote tan goes great with this. Ranger green goes great with this. You don't necessarily have to perfectly match. Okay, but if you want an Alpenflage backpack, you're kind of SOL right now. When I make sure that more gear is available in Alpenflage, it's going to be at a premium because small shops, including myself, are going to be paying an exorbitant amount to have it custom made, custom printed in small quantities. And then people like me are going to be working with our hands to make stuff. Then the price is going to be bad because, yeah, you got a $40 top and bottom, but the pack cost you 300 bucks. Maybe it evens out for you because um, a normal top and bottom costs a hundred dollars, mil spec, whatever, multicam, not fancy stuff, government stuff. So you buy three sets, tops and bottoms, and a backpack and a kit. You're looking at five hundred bucks. Maybe buying a custom bag and three sets of these uniforms and a custom kit, maybe the cost will offset. But again, you can just use Ranger Green or whatever. So there are downsides, guys. And I don't, again, I don't think it is the best performing camouflage available. This camouflage is from the end of World War II. There is more advanced stuff out there. But it works much better than people give it credit for I can freaking disappear in this stuff, guys. Um, I'm going to end this with... This isn't my favorite camel pattern because of the performance. One of my favorites here, look at this. Uh, Malcolm made me these from the Hidden Woodsman. This is a super rare camouflage pattern called ACU Delta. Basically, the army tested making ACU suck less for a little while by throwing some brown in there, and uh, it still sucks, okay? However, it reminds me of my deployment because I had ACUs on and all coyote tan gear and it was all dirty, so it looked like ACU Delta. And um, so, when Malcolm got some super rare production overrun material in this pattern, a little bit of it, I was super excited to get it from. A uh, huge shout out to Malcolm the Hidden Woodsman and uh, someday if he makes Alpenflage packs, I will let you guys know. I hope that he puts it on the table, and if he does, I will do everything in my power to help him sell, sell them. Also, I don't talk about the Hidden Woodsman enough. Uh, I wear his hats, I wear his gear all the time, but I'm, I've got quite a bit of his gear. And if every five videos that I did, I did a video on the Hidden Woodsman, he would deserve it. I have enough gear I like it enough. I don't know why I haven't done more. I will fix that. I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I, if you see a set of Swiss Alpenflage for sale cheap that fits you, don't hesitate to get it. It's not fake. It's not a joke. It's not a gimmick. This is a real and effective camouflage pattern. Um, there are a lot of upsides to it. Half of those upsides are laughing at the jokers who think that it won't work and then proving them wrong is what it is. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll have a series that shows more about this camel pattern uh, in the future. But I hope that you have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs down. Start a fight in the comment section below, and check out the description box. Beach and Tactical is my business. Exodus Knife and Tool is my line of knives. And affiliate links, Patreon, social medias. Thank you.